What's up, Docs and Docettes? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic here. What a day. I don't even want to begin talking about work. I'm sure you don't. Let's just sit here, have ourselves a drink. It is, after all, happy hour. And take in the daily dose of What's Up, Dockery. It's riding the shield. So what's a kitty fiddler? Well, it's a pet, it's a pedophile, pederast, whatever. Um, I'm sitting here looking at this now and realizing I don't know if I even want to. I don't even know if I want to use um, the term because it kind of makes light of a uh, pedophile of um, pedophilia, I guess. I don't know, kitty fiddler, like a kindergartner who plays the violin. I don't know. Um. It, it is a really uh, silly word, so, but uh, it, uh, it comes uh, by way of um, June Foray, um, who, uh, who made uh, a startling confession to Billy West, as we hear here in uh, Billy West's interview with uh, Gilbert Godfrey on Gilbert Godfrey's amazing Colossal Podcast episode. Tell us about June Foray, who you got to know a little bit, and you were at her service, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yeah. No, I didn't go to the service. I couldn't make oh, it, but oh, okay. I but I was at a special that they did for her, like a, a remembrance, and they had voice and slideshows. And uh, we're you sorry know. we didn't get her here. Oh, we you would have loved her. Yeah, because I dropped the ball on that one. She was the be all and end all female voice of the twentieth century. I, you know, it's like I can't think of anybody who had more of an impact with their characters. No, no. Like I told her when I first met her, I, I just was in such awe that I, I became mindless and I, I found that I was shaking her hand for more than 30 seconds. You know, while I'm saying this is such a thrill for me and she's beginning to look at me like it's going into 40 seconds of shaking her hand and she mm -hmm. said, what do you like me or something? I wanted, I, I wanted someone to show me a picture just like they did in the 1940s at Termite Terrace. You know, they show Mel Blanc. What do you think? And they'd show him drawings and... He would go, you know, he's, what did he say one time? They wanted me to do a character named Porky Pig. And uh, so I went out to the farm. I went up to Oregon and I slopped around in the pigsty with the pigs. <laughs> just to hear them. And, they, and he said they went, re, 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 re. And then he was going, re, 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 re. A re a, a re a, that's all for air, folks. <laughs> sure you did. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what about the guy Arthur Q. Bryan that did uh, that did Elmer Fudd? Did, didn't, yeah. didn't June Foray say he was a pervert? Nah, she said, oh, he liked little boys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, I'm breaking news here. <laughs> Elmer Fudd hello. was a pervert. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> this is Nambwa. June Foray. Uh, laying it down, making, uh, make, letting everybody know the truth, I guess. I don't know. Um, she's certainly not without her own uh, uh, level of controversy in the world of maybe not podcasts, but certainly radio. Uh, this was a clip from the Howard Stern show uh, that she did back in 1986. I think it's 86. Uh, that got her in a lot of trouble. It's basically her playing Rocky. Uh, Howard Stern is playing uh, Bullwinkle to her Rocky uh, and uh, I think it's a sketch about erection pills or something, or, or getting a, getting a girl pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Rocky, why so down? You look bluer than Keith Richards after an overdose of 150 cc's of heroin. Bullwinkle, I'm horny. <laughs> I've been horny for years, Rocky. But then again, a moose is supposed to have horns. No, limp schmuck. I mean, I want companionship. I need to be serviced. I want to get stuck. <laughs> Boom. I'm not that kind of moose. Not by you, Bullwinkle. A chick, a babe, a woman. Oh, I get it. Well, what can I do, Bullwinkle? I got a woody that won't quit. Controversial, yes. Funny, yeah. Also, I, I thought it was funny. Um, it's, I mean, it's always funny to hear cartoon characters, the actual voices 
uh, saying, you know, raunchy stuff. Yes, we are son of a bitch. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this daily dose of What's Up Dockery, the Riding the Shield show, as we like to call it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe for notifications on all the other kind of videos I do. This isn't all I do, man. You see that? You see that thing over there? That's called a set. Right. And it's, it's not, it doesn't look like that. It's all, the lights are all off and everything's inactive and this is not what I do, man. If you're new to the channel, I do it all, baby. Reviews, commentaries, little production skits, fun things. It's all worth your while. This is just, this is just a, uh, a, a how you doing at the end of the day where we talk for a little bit about the Looney Tunes stuff that we love. Little stories here and there. And um, unless it's Friday, I'll be back tomorrow. So, till then, cheers.